This video shows how to convert a LMS based LOR sequence file into X lights. In this example, we're going to use a pixel mega tree sequence. It is designed for 16 outputs, and in this particular case, this video is not going to cover the setup of the controller or the setup of your outputs, as shown here, or the setup of the actual model, as shown here. See our other videos for that information. Now, we go to the Sequence tab. We can see that there are no elements here, and we need to start off by creating a sequence. So we're going to say New Sequence, Musical Sequence, and we're going to pick the audio file, which you've purchased from Amazon or other place. Click Open. We're going to say 20 frames per second, which is sufficient. Click Quick Start. And now we have our tree. And we can see that we have individual strands and individual pixel nodes in each strand. Now, what we're going to be doing is bringing in that Lightarama data. So we're going to go up to Import, Import Effects, and we're going to select the drop down and choose LMS or LOR Music Sequence. And here is our file. This is the LMS file that matches the audio file we've already started the sequence with. And we're going to click Open. And what's happening in the background is, is that it's bringing the file in and looking at what channels we have available. Now, there's a whole bunch here, and we need to tell X lights what goes in here, which are individual channels. So these are individual channels and pixels. And how does it map over here? So what we're going to do is we're going to use the map CCR strand. And that collapses all of those into individual strands. So we have here a DMX CCR. So that means that that's comprised of 50 pixels or 150 DMX channels in our particular case because each vertical strand, 16 of them, have 50 pixels, which is 150 pixel, 150 DMX channels, which also corresponds, you can see here, to 50 pixels. All right, so what we're going to do is going to do strand 1, and I'm just going to click DMX CCR1. You can see it advances to the strand 2. I click strand 2. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now, you can save this mapping if you want and have it for future reference. And you could just say six, for example, sixteen by fifty map. And then you would be able to load that map without having to click those. That's especially useful if you have very complex sequences, or maybe you've even done your own personal sequences and you had to map out very specific channel counts. Okay, we're going to go ahead and click OK. And it doesn't look like anything happens until we expand the strands. Now, right now it is importing the file and converting it. And in just one moment here, it will show up. And what we'll see is each one of the sections here. So what we can do is we can see when I zoom in here, we can see that on strand one, pixel node one, and you can see all of the different on and off and ramping effects. So let's go ahead and play one of these. And over here on the left, you can see in the model preview, Whoop. I need to select a click this. Uh, you can see in the model preview on the left hand side the actual sequence. And that's how easy it is.